And let's start off by talking about bridges. Many of our communities around here are dependent upon bridges. They're an important part of the landscape. They're beautiful, they're functional. Well, the bridge in Columbus Junction has a big birthday this year, and Bev Nielsen is here with the event for the Lover's Leap Bridge. They're calling it Bridging, the big party you're gonna mm -hmm. have on Sunday, 100 years for a bridge. Yes, the current bridge was oh. completed in 1922. Oh. So the grand year of 2020 or two, well, 1922, and mm -hmm. here we are, here to see the big birthday. Um, this is a, the bridge has been there's been a bridge there ever since that year. In fact, before Paula, the, the first bridge was built in 1886. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, here's here's what's special about this, folks. It's a swinging bridge. There's a lover leaf, uh, lover's leaf swinging bridge. So swinging means it moves. Oh, it certainly swings. <laughs> It bounces up and down too. The more people, the, the more it bounces and swings. And it is held up all of these years. Uh, the pictures are of these guys building it? Yes. Well, that's the original bridge. Mm -hmm. This is uh, maybe the second version of a bridge across the same ravine. Um, Let's talk about that ravine and why it needs to be bridged. T tell me about the origins of this. How, how did it come to be, Beth? Well, Columbus Junction is at the confluence of the Iowa and Cedar Rivers, so we have a lot of ravines. Mm -hmm. And the people on 4th Street wanted to get to 3rd Street without having to walk around a long and, and uh, a long, a long, long mm -hmm. ravine. Mm -hmm. So they thought, why don't we build a bridge? So they did. And it's still, it's still used as much now? What would, what, when we talk about foot traffic, what's the use on it? Well, back in the day, many uh, paper carriers mm -hmm. carried uh, their papers across the bridge. Children walked to school across the bridge, and they still do today. So it is sort of like a sidewalk across this ravine. Got it. But right now, we have many, many guests that come to the swinging bridge in Columbus Junction. In fact, over the past three years, I've kept track um, of the people that have walked the trail that goes under the bridge. There's a register at the bottom that they can sign. Hmm. Over 8,000 people have, have signed that register from 48 U.S. states and many foreign countries. So we're out there. It's people know about it's our bridge. It's a tourist attraction. It's been written up in magazines, the latest one, uh, the Iowan. Uh, so there are pictures of that from, from inside here of the, the Iowan. Uh, who publishes this? Where's this from? Is it Des Moines. Is it, yeah. So it's, it's written up in here, and so I'm going to put it down now. Uh, or, or you can look at it. It's called the <laughs> Iowan. And so, you know, if you've never heard of this thing, you th you're thinking, I should go, and a good time to go would be this weekend on Sunday for bridging. I love the name that you have for this. And talk about a party. What did you have planned, Bev? Oh, my. Well, we start on Saturday for our typical uh, annual celebration called Columbus Day. Columbus Day on Saturday, mm -hmm. yeah. But we needed to expand because this is special, 100-year-old bridge. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday from noon to 6, we're going to have live music, food trucks, a bags tournament, bounce houses. We're going to have a scavenger hike on the trail um, that I think the kids will really enjoy. How fun is that? How many people can walk on that th to, at a time to be on it that's safe? For the celebration, we are going to make it one-way traffic from east to west, and uh, about 20 is safe. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you think about that, that though, there are very few of them in the world <laughs> of these swinging bridges, especially one that's 100 years old. So where are you going to do the party, the bridging party? The party will be held at two parks, two city parks, uh, the music, food trucks, bags tournament, and some bounce houses will be at Monkey Run Park, which mm -hmm. is just north of the Swinging Bridge Park. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the events will be at the Swinging Bridge Park. I do want to mention that uh, parking will be at the American Legion uh, parking lot and the United Methodist Church parking lot. We will be running shuttles from those locations. Wow. You can certainly walk in if you want the exercise, <laughs> but we will have vehicles running and um, side-by-sides getting people from the parking lots to the bridge. And you gotta get yourself on that bridge because that, that's the attraction. It's a thrill. Uh, it, it's a thrill. <laughs> it's the swinging bridge right here in our area for 100 years now. So uh, Columbus Day, so that's what you guys call your Columbus Junction celebration, which you've been doing for 64 years. Mm -hmm. So that's a long time event as well. That's on Saturday. Yes. That's all day. It is all day. <laughs> And then the event we want to tell you about right now is bridging, which is on Sunday from noon to six. 
So uh, come one, come all to the lovely Columbus Junction, <laughs> Iowa. And Bev, I know you've worked hard to put this, uh, this event together, and I'm sure it'll be an historic one. Thank yeah. you. It takes a whole village I, to put I it can, together. I and understand have, that for sure. We have many good volunteers that have helped. Well, happy bridging this weekend. Thanks, Thank thanks, you, Bella. Nice job.